Greetings everyone and welcome to NASCAR 8 where I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to do a blowover in this game. Uh, luckily it's not too difficult and it's actually one of my favorite games to, to do a blowover in because I feel like they're fairly realistic. I mean I don't feel like any game's quite gotten it perfect especially nowadays where just like blowovers are just complete randomness. But I feel like for like the this generation of car, the Gen 4 car, I actually feel like they're they're pretty darn realistic for for what it is. Um, so first off, in the main menu, what you're gonna want to do before you even pick a car, get to a track or anything, is you want to go down to the My NASCAR section, go down to the settings, and gameplay settings. So this is super important. Uh, I always found it really strange. You people always ask me, like, how do you blow over in this game? It's like, what do you mean? You just, like, spin out while you're going fast. And this might be where people get messed up, is that these, I mean, especially NASCAR 08 in particular, but, like, NASCAR 08 and NASCAR 09 on PS3 and Xbox 360, uh, their controls are pretty horrible, and, like, the grip on the car, especially NASCAR 08, is terrible. So I wouldn't blame you guys if you had, like, some sort of assist on and that sort of thing. But in this case, this is exactly how I have everything set up for me. I have no braking help, no anti-lock brakes, no stability control. I do keep steering help on high. Uh, I don't think it affects anything. I mean, maybe it could. Uh, and for the first one, I'm going to show you to do a blowover. Uh, it might affect it, I guess, and it doesn't even really matter. Uh, but I keep it on high, so not a big deal. Uh, you do want traction control definitely off. And then a very important thing, especially for the first one I'm going to show you to do it, is you want auto shifting turned off. You want to be on manual shifting, not automatic. Uh, and that this is really going to help for, for the type of blowover I'm going to show you first. So these are the settings you'd want to have. It's the exact same thing I use uh, when I make my videos. So make sure you go into my NASCAR settings, gameplay settings, get that switched up. Now, when it comes to tracks, you can pretty much do it at any, any mile and a half track or higher you have the potential to get a blow over at. Um, but there's two tracks I'm gonna highlight today. Uh, and honestly, they're two of my favorites to do it at, no matter like what game it is. Uh, for, the first one's gonna be Pocono. Uh, it's perfect because it has a lot of long straightaways, uh, and it has a lot of grass. And grass is very important in this game to get what I consider like a true, like blowover without things getting too, too weird. Like where the car actually lifts completely off the ground, flips completely in the air, that sort of thing. And Pocono, this is pre reconfiguration, so there's just there's grass literally everywhere. Um, and with the, the the straightaways being so long, you can build up a lot of good speed. So this would be the first one I'm going to show you. Uh, how to do it at uh, all these other settings really don't matter because I honestly just go into practice and and do it that way I mean you could definitely like do it in the race if you wanted to and try but I usually don't bother it just takes too much time so let's get loaded up into it all right so now that we're loaded up here uh, I'm gonna keep it fairly simple I have messed around with like a true true blowover setup I guess you could say where I mess with like some of the the weight stuff um, and really trimmed out the car to get as much speed as possible. But to keep it simple, because you really don't even have to do that, um, you can just go to this basic settings and just crank the speed all the way up uh, when it comes to gearing and downforce. So instead of fast acceleration, we just want top speed. And then instead of having any downforce, we just want top speed again. So now that we got that done, we can hit continue. And then we are just going to do do practice. Uh, if you want, If you want to try doing this during the race, feel free. Sometimes it can help if you could like position yourself perfectly to where you get some draft. Sometimes it can really help. Um, but in this case, the, the way that we're going to kind of accomplish this, uh, we don't need to be in the race. Uh, now, first of all, I just wall ride. Uh, the, the physics in this game are so bad uh, that I don't care about actually trying to do like legitimate laps. Uh, plus, if you wall ride, like you're going to be going really fast and man I just I didn't realize <laughs> I'd be only in third gear and going 200 uh, but that's just for the way that setup works um, so I'm just going to completely wall ride the entire way around here as I get into Elliot Sadler which luckily is going to slow me down Ugh. Um, and just try to build up your speed as much as you can I usually try to go a full lap around now it kind of sucks because I'm like OCD and I hate that I get damaged 
um, already. So like when I'm making my videos, it kind of makes me angry that I already have damage. But I mean, sometimes it is what it is. I remember once I decided like, no, I'm just gonna turn damage off because it just looks nicer. And then like, there's a decent amount of people like, why is there no damage on? And I was like, all right, I guess I'll keep it on. Anyway, so this is where it's important. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna pause here. Uh, and luckily you can kind of see, and I can even turn the camera a little bit. Uh, so on the, the left, you can see there's just a ton of grass. Now you're going to want to wait as long as you pretty much can to get into that grass, but you're going to want to drive into the grass and then you're just going to want to downshift to like first gear. Like if, technically I think a downshift actually all the way into reverse, um, while you're holding it full throttle. Uh, it might be slightly different than Escrow 9, I've, I feel like, where you have to, like, let off the gas in order for it to actually downshift. And in this game, just keep going wide open, um, and then just downshift as fast as possible, uh, down into reverse. So we're gonna do it here. We're gonna drive into the grass, downshift, car spins out, we're just gonna let off the brake. And I hit the wall there, but you pretty much got the, the gist of it. Uh, obviously the car spun out really quickly, which is what you want because you want to be going backwards as fast as possible as so we're just kind of spinning like a top here. Um, let's go into the replay here. But yeah, you want to be backwards going as fast as possible. And then the reason why you want the grass and hopefully, yeah, it gets so choppy here and it bugs me. But you can kind of see there, you can almost see how the front of the car kind of clip the grass and it bumped it up in the air a little bit more. So we're backwards at 162 completely off the ground. And it just gives me enough height to where it starts to go, it starts to go over, but then we we maybe weren't going quite fast enough and we also hit the wall. But you can kind of see we're going fast backwards. We hit the grass a little bit. And if it wasn't for the wall, I think we actually would have went over, uh, but we just kind of angled it a little bit wrong. And still, looks pretty cool in my eyes honestly but um that's just kind of what you want to do like you just drive into the grass like i do a pretty sharp turn left and then a sharp turn right as you can see as i'm downshifting to kind of help with the spinning of the car um and then sometimes you can kind of try to turn your wheels the other way to stop the rotation of the car to keep it backwards for as long as possible sometimes that helps uh, other times it does do anything um, if you want to try to make it really realistic, as far as looks, you can hit the brakes. That way the, the tires aren't spinning and whatnot. Um, but at Pocono, that's pretty much all you have to do is just dive down into the grass going as fast as possible um, and then just downshift. I don't even know. Like, we'll try it. I'm going to do it one more time. And we're going to do it down the front stretch here because you can kind of see that patch of grass there. Um, you can definitely, you are really hauling the mail there. Um, as I just decide to kill myself, apparently. Let's just get this thing spun all the way around. There we go. Um, you can be hauling a mail going into turn one and then do it. And you can get some really, like, some really high lowers, honestly. Uh, I think in one of my NASCAR 08 crash compilations, I was doing it with, like, Kevin Harvick. And, like, I had two of them where I got some major airtime. And it was really sweet looking. Uh, but this time, we're going to do it down the front straight away. Once again, wall riding, just trying to build up our speed as much as we can. Uh, if you want to mess with the, the setup a little bit more, uh, you could definitely do it to where you have, like, barely any, like, spoiler and, like, fender flare and all that sort of stuff. You can even get faster speeds, which definitely helps. Uh, but in this case, like I said, this, it's just so simple that you don't even have to do it. Oh, Jeff Gordon, okay, he's not going to be in the way. All right, so we're going to downshift there. Ooh. <laughs> we got pretty darn high. Uh, I decided to try to hit the brakes there to try to stop the rotation. And I do feel like in... Holy cow, I just got destroyed by Kyle Busch there. I'm definitely going to look at the replay of that. Um, I, I stopped the rotation a decent bit. Man, look at that hit. I'd be dead in real life because <laughs> that was pre-COT. Uh, and when you do that, I feel like it doesn't get as, as high off the ground. But I just wanted to try it out here. Uh, so once again, you can see, just try to spin out. I spin out a little bit before the grass because there's just, you're going so fast and there's not a ton of grass to work with. You want to get backwards what, before you get to the banking in turn one. Um, and once again, it's really simple. You downshift, you get in the grass, you let the, the front end of the car kind of hit the ground and it just pops up. 
and then you can do a blow over. Like it's it's pretty much that simple. Uh, not the best example there, but you kind of get the idea. Spin out, go fast in the grass, and you're going to be able to do one here at Pocono. And wow, it's glitching out a lot. I'm going to get out of this replay. All right, so we're back in the main menu here, and the second track I'm going to show you is actually Michigan, uh, my home track. Once again, easily in the Hall of Fame for probably one of the best tracks to do blowovers at uh, in, in the NASCAR video games. I mean, technically, if you were doing what we were doing in real life, you could probably make it happen too, even though there's only been like, I want to say two blowovers. I mean, I remember Elliot Sadler having one in 2000, and then Johnny Benson in like 1991 or three or four or something like that. I don't think there's really been any any other ones. I mean, there's Dario Franchitti in the uh, IndyCar series. But anyways, we're going to go to Michigan here. We're going to keep the uh, Bobby Labonte car. Uh, this is going to be the second way that you can kind of do a blowover in this game. All right, so when it comes to Michigan, I don't do anything with, uh, with the setup because uh, this is one where I do actually attempt to, like, drive the car. I don't really wall ride or anything like that. Uh, so this is one of the reasons why I keep the, like, steering help on because it does help me get through the corners a, a decent bit. Uh, once again, we're just going to do practice. This is maybe one of them that I actually end up doing these during the race. Oh, my gosh, the steering. Uh, but for the purposes of this, if I could even just get going, my goodness, uh, I'm just going to do it in practice. Now, luckily, this is one of them where, like, shifting doesn't really matter. Uh, you can still do the same method here on the front straightaway if you want to by getting into the grass. Uh, but I actually find it's easier to spin out using the apron. Now, I've done this before in, like, Dirt to Daytona and then also, like, the NASCAR heat game. Um... So the same thing kind of applies here. Just kind of get going around the track. Luckily, I'm not spinning out. Uh, and you just kind of want to build your speed. This is where it can help, again, if you get some draft. But luckily, like, the apron is so pronounced here. That all you got to do is just get on the apron like that, and you spin out. And there you go. So we're going to go take a look back at the replay to kind of slow it down a little bit. But in this case... Pretty much what you just want to do is I usually drive down on the apron like I am here. And then you come up like a little bit here and just kind of straddle the apron while you're turning left. And like the camber of the apron or something like that going to the racetrack uh, helps spin your car out. And I feel like it's a little bit faster than downshifting here. The tricky part is you don't a lot of times get into the grass uh, and that kind of happened here, where it doesn't pop up the front end of the car. I mean, it kind of did, um, but we were still able to, to get all the way over it anyways. We'll rewind it here and go to this view. So as you can see, like I'm still cranking it left. So we'll kind of go back here. You kind of let it drift up to where the apron meets the track. Why is it just so glitchy? It makes me so angry. And you see, I just crank it hard left there. And then I start to turn, right? I guess I kind of keep it straight. Because in this case, I don't really want it to like stop spinning because it can definitely slow it down. And you can see like I'm straddling. If I would have gotten in the grass a little bit more, it probably would have caught on the nose and did like a, a full blow over. Uh, but either way, you can kind of see that with that, we're really high off the ground. And we kind of pirouette on our nose a little bit. And then it goes all the way over. So honestly, like that's as simple as it, as it gets when it comes to this game. Obviously, you can mess around at different tracks. Now that you kind of know some of my tips and tricks. Like if you find an apron anywhere, that helps. Or like at a track like Indianapolis, you can definitely use the uh, the Pocono method of just downshifting while you're pretty much in the grass um, to do a blowover. So honestly, it's really not that hard to, to do a blowover in this game, guys. I think a lot of it boils down to as I get annihilated by Jeff Green. Um, you just want to be able to, to spin out. So make sure you have all assists off. Like remember, like you're not actually trying to race. You're just trying to crash. So it doesn't matter. Um, if you're not, <laughs> if you're not like keeping up with the other cars or anything like that, you just want to be going fast and spin yourself out. Uh, and I feel like that's where a lot of people get lost. So we're just going to try it one more time. I mean, I might as well, since I'm getting back up to speed. We might be able to get the draft of Dave Blaney here. Ooh, ooh, I guess we're going to do a little bit of wall riding. 
There we go. Oh god, oh god, god, the, just the handling in this game is just so puke-worthy. We're gonna try it a little bit further past the start-finish line. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you can see, like, I, I did it twice in a row without really trying. Let's see, Tony Stewart, you can hit me? No? No? What about you, David Reagan? There we go. Alright, let's look at the replay real quick of this last one. And then I'll probably just end off the video. Now I'm just having fun messing around. Uh, so yeah, I, once again, straddle the apron. Spin yourself out. Try to get in the grass if you can. You can see there it actually did definitely like pop up the nose a decent bit. That's kind of weird how that camera angle did that. But just watch the nose, how it catches and it bounces the car. Look at the gap there. Like That's what you want to do like a true over is to get it in the grass, get that thing to pop up in the air. Then you're cooking with oil. Oh, look at that. Bobby Labonte with a little Texas flag. Either way, that's how you could do a blowover in this game, guys. Uh, a little bit longer video, actually, than I thought it would be. I'll probably be cutting some of this stuff out. Um, but if you like kind of the, the content I'm making, make sure to, to give it a like, subscribe. Uh, might be doing some more blowover tutorial for some of the other games. Uh, but I know this one was pretty requested, especially since some of the most popular videos uh, have to do with NASCAR 08. So uh, hopefully you enjoy the video, and hopefully you guys will join me next time.